Well, that was shithousery of the finest quality. Uh, 55, maybe 60 minutes, where we were just absolutely dreadful, to be honest. Uh, we couldn't string two passes together. West Ham had chance after chance after chance after chance. Um, <laughs> they, they managed to score one of them, but uh, yeah, they could have been 4 0 up at half time. They really could have. Uh, Haller slipped while going through. That might have been chalked off for offside. Uh, they had a few other chances. Uh, there was another one where I think Bowen ran through uh, and uh, uh, Wan Bissaka, yeah, with an absolutely ridiculous uh, tackle to get back. But yeah, I mean, I see they had chance after chance after chance, and they did. They were dominant, and they could have scored four. But yeah, the the chances weren't um, other than the Salah one uh, and the Bowen one that I've just mentioned. They weren't like top quality ones. Um, so you know, I I, I can kind of see like what I'm trying to say is Henderson didn't have to make any ridiculous saves really. Um, but yeah, the first goal, uh, well, their only goal, thankfully. Um, was from a corner again just poor marking uh, to horrendous zonal marking um, the balls flicked on to Soy, Soy check, uh at the far post and yeah he, he gets it in it, it's a simple tap in really um, terrible defending but anyhow um, Oli made two changes at half time perhaps because he didn't bring Fred off uh, against PSG he wanted to make sure you know he made his changes nice and early today and I tell you something the squad in general have to look at themselves really and just look at how much Bruno Fernandes does for this team. It is ridiculous. After 20 minutes of him being on the pitch, he created four chances, which was double anybody else on the team. It's ridiculous, man. Give the man a break. He shouldn't have had to play this game. The whole idea was for him to be rested for Leipzig and City. But he had to come on and thankfully he did and he changed it. Same with Rashford. Rashford was unreal today uh you know some of the dribbles he made the pace it, it it was a stark contrast to um you know the front three in the first half uh greenwood cavani and martial barely made a run like cavani made a few uh you know that nobody picked him up like last man things but in terms of actual sprints none of them really made anything but anyhow uh, at half time as i say van der beek and cavani were taken off and yeah uh, the first goal comes and here we go into dispute again because did the ball go out right okay think of it if it's your team do you really want that one choked off i hear so many complaints from players as well as fans pundits whatever about they are you know stripping good goals for the sake of one millimeter or whatever it is for offsides the ball possibly went out of play who knows like to be honest VR would have looked at it, it it's it's so hard because of camera angles and everything, so it's not clear and obvious whether it did go out, but, you know, it may have, it may not have, but it's just one of those, if you can't tell, then the ball goes in, and the goal's such high quality anyway, like, if you were a fan of Manchester United, or if this happened for your club, you ain't going to want this chalked off, I can understand where West Ham do, fair enough, if, if uh, you know, this was conceded against me, I'd be saying the same thing, but in terms of neutrals and everything, that are having a go, just come on, this is the type of thing that you don't want to get stopped, because it's such a good goal, um, but yeah, Bruno Fernandes gets the ball from Dean Henderson, uh, who obviously kicked it, and that's where the dispute possibly came out, uh, whether it went in or out, but anyhow, um, it was ruled that it, it stayed in, and Fernandez passes it into Pogba, and it's a beautiful finish. This is Pogba. Um, th this is what Pogba is really like. You know, he's he's a midfielder that can hit the ball from 30, 40 yards, and yeah, it was pinpoint. It's a lovely finesse into the the right hand top corner, I think. But yeah, he, he needed that because, again, our performance up until this point had been lethargic. But Bruno Fernandes and Rashford together changed the whole ethos of the team. And as soon as that one went in, we, it didn't take us long to get the second. A ball in from Tears, a wonderful touch from Greenwood and a goal. So happy for the lad. You know, he's had so much criticism recently. Um, the, the, the lad is 19 and he scored 17 goals for us last season. Fucking hell. Let the guy live his life. Like, you know, he's going to make mistakes. He's young. We've had this before with Rooney. And um, I'm trying to think of other players off the top of my head. Uh, Ronaldo was kind of a different uh, type of player. Oh, off the top of my head, 
I can't remember the the player that flashed up and now I forgot. But yeah, there's there's so many. There is literally so many youngsters that you know. You're young. You want to enjoy life. You know. You're getting six figure salaries or five figure salaries every week. It's understandable. And then of course the death of his uh, of his friend from the City Academy. The the dude is going to be world class. He really is. He's going to be a future Ballon, uh, Ballon d'Or contender. Um, hopefully he wins a couple. But yeah, I mean. Yeah, he's had a poor start, but he still scored three or four goals in all competitions. First in the Premier League, though. So, yeah, he was born the second uh, first half, but the second half, well done, Greenwood. Like, yeah, brilliant finish. Uh, and then after that, we should have scored another one. Bruno Fernandes with a lovely touch ball through to uh, Marcus Rashford, and uh, he hits the post. And then we do actually kill the game off. Uh, an unbelievable pass from Mata who was brought on because Martial got an injury so I doubt he's going to be playing against Leipzig or uh, Manchester City which is probably best for him to be honest I think like I said in the PSG review I think a, a spell on the bench or a spell out of the team just for a couple of games you know might spark a reaction from Martial because I still believe in him he's still got quality and he will turn it round. but yeah I feel like dropping him would probably be the best course of action for both the player and the team. So yeah, the fact that he's got a little bit of a, a groin strain by the looks of it, I doubt he's going to feature in either of those games. Um, but yeah, get well soon, I guess. But uh, yeah, Mata came on, brilliant uh, through ball to Rashford, who made this run so many times in the second half. And this time, he dinks it over the keeper. It's 3-1. And we could have had more after that. Greenwood had a chance. I think Bruno had a chance. Rashford had another couple of chances. And yeah, it's just... It's absurd the contrast between the first 55, 60 minutes compared to the next 35, 30 minutes. Just insane. It really is. But we've managed to get the points and we've been behind in every away game this season. And we've won them all, I think, was the statistic. And I think it's six in the last eight, um, which it's just ridiculous. We've won eight away games in the Premier League uh, in a row. It, it, just nine, sorry, nine now, isn't it? Yeah, it's nine. It, it's absolutely insane. But yeah, we've got Leipzig on uh, Tuesday, a huge, huge game. This really could define our season this week that we've got. Uh, we're fourth currently in the Premier League. Um, we've still got a game in hand when everyone does play, but at the minute, 10 games for the, the clubs above us, but they all still have to play this uh, game week. That's uh, Spurs, Liverpool and Chelsea, who are playing right now by the time this video comes out. Um... So yeah, we, we'll see, but at the minute we're fourth. I, I don't think too many uh, teams can overtake us this game week. So we might drop down fifth, sixth, but I don't think so. I think we'll stay in fourth. Um, and again, with the game in hand, but at the minute we're two points off the top. Um, and yeah, it, it all hinges on that Leipzig game because we do not want to be going into Europa League. Has to be the Champions League last 16. And then despite what the haters, what the, the Love United hate Glazer fans say what the pundits say what everyone says it's been a good start to the season despite being so inconsistent and performances being hit and miss looking at the actual table of both the champions league and the premier league as long as we get to the last 16 it's the hardest group by far and you know we're, we're fourth two points off the top at the minute with a game in hand we might be five points off the top by the time the games are played but again we'll have that game in hand but anyhow yeah, 3-1, thank fuck for that. And yeah, anyone who thinks Bruno Fernandes is not our best player is just silly, to be honest. The, the dude literally carries this team on the back of his shoulders. Rashford helps as well, I'll be honest. And of course, other players chip in. I'm not calling every player in the in the squad bad. I just feel like, you know, they, they need to step up when he needs a break. And this is one of those games where, you know, he could have done with a break, a rest, but... It is what it is, and we got the three points, so I'm not going to complain. I'm absolutely fucking over the moon.